What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on SCCM videos. And today is all about configuring your SCCM server to do phase deployment. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is launch your SCCM console, right? We need to get into administration and within administration, go to overview, site configuration, sites, select your site and go right here hierarchy settings you're going to get this dialog box and you want to get into the general by default it's going to set you up to the general that's great you want to enable uh, to use pre-release features so enable it apply it okay it almost done so go back into administration overview update and servicing and then just expand that and then go to features within features you're going to see phase deployments so what you're going to do is right click on it and when you right click on it, you're going to get an option to turn on, right? The majority of this stuff is turned off. So just turn it on. Once you turn it on, you're going to get this warning. Uh, do you want to turn on? Yes. Click yes. And what I like to do is just shut down the console, wait a couple of minutes and then go back inside, start, locate configuration manager console, click on it, let it load up. Now, once your console is up and running, go to software library and go to overview operating systems and go to task sequence now within task sequence you're going to pick a task sequence that you already have i picked the one that says windows 1064 and deploying 1709 with mdt you're going to see a new option that says create phase deployment so click on it and from here give it a name description and also provide the first collection that you want to push out this task sequence as well as the second collection. Once you do all that, click on next and then you have settings. You want to configure the settings for the phase deployment. I left everything as the default. Deployment success percentage is about 95%. You could change it, it's up to you. Conditions for beginning the second phase for the deployment after the success of the first phase. By default, it says automatically begin the phase after a deferral period and days is one uh, you can change it to manual and then you have the last one as once a device is targeted install the software you got as soon as possible or you, you could set it to a deadline time once you configure your settings click on next from here you're able to adjust the way that you want the phase by default it's phase one phase two but if you click on it you're able to move it down and add or edit and modify it from this part right here uh, once you make all the adjustments, you're going to click on next, a nice little summary, click next, and it's done. A green check mark is always a good thing. So you're going to close it, uh, go back inside your task sequence, and at the very bottom, you're going to see a tab called phase deployments. And uh, when you click on it, you're going to see that you have your phase deployment that we created, whatever name that you provided with an ID and also a version. When you right click your new phase deployment task, uh, you're going to see an option that says move to phase. You could click on it, but for me, I don't really have anything happening. There is a log that you could check out within the Microsoft Configuration Manager logs folder. Uh, it's called SMS phase deployment log. Uh, when you double click on it, for me, I didn't have any current deployments active. Uh, so I haven't really tested it out yet, but those that have a fully active deployment uh, with you know using SCCM I would love for you guys to test this out and let me know at the comment section but again hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out